Welcome back to another Mediocre Painting with Wayne. We're experimenting with some new products from Ammo and MIG. These are the Shader line that was recently released. I'm new to this product. Uh, actually, yesterday was the first day I really got to mess around with these. So we wanted to continue that today and um, show you what I can do as a mediocre amateur painter uh, with my airbrush and doing some quick weathering on some on some vehicles and stuff that we had laying around the shop. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with this orange and I've got my old setback chimera from years ago that's already been a little bit weathered, uh, but we're gonna add some interesting colors with it. And that's what they really emphasize that these are for is for adding interesting effects. I don't know, not necessarily realistic effects, but um, some cool color modulation. This stuff is pre-thinned. Um, you don't have to thin it. It'll go directly through the airbrush without an issue. It's, uh, it's, it is very thin. And it is a very subtle effect. Now, of course, I could widen this up and go with a bigger spray pattern but I've got it reduced because I want to control this a little bit better. Because we're kind of going to keep this effect up. Oh, see, I got a little too much there. We're going to try and keep this effect kind of limited to down here. And this by itself doesn't really do much, but what we're going to do is combine this color with a light clay and it makes a really neat, almost rusty look. But you can use uh, any uh, Windex or um, a really good favorite of mine is windshield wiper fluid to just quick clean your water-based acrylic paints out of your airbrush between colors. And you can do this as subtle or as heavy as you want. I'm doing it kind of heavy because it's the only thing that's going to show up on this camera. <laughs> And so now we've combined the colors to kind of make it look a little rusty down there. Just doing some weathering. So these are some of the lighter effects you can get. One more thing I'm going to do on this model is the ash black. I'm going to use it to do some like, uh, to make the barrel look a little uh, scorched from shooting. And this is a really cool effect. Kind of gives that a kind of subtle smoked look, like the barrel's gotten hot. So some fun stuff we can do with this is they've got some really cool colors, like this sky blue uh, looks really good on top of metallics uh, to make like a bluish armor. Uh, one of our customers saw me mess around with this yesterday on uh, some chest pauldrons on some space marines. And he's like, that looks like Grey Knight's armor. And so he bought one and he went home and he sent me some pictures. And yeah, it, it gives you that really cool blue tinge really quick. So I'm gonna show you a little bit on this uh, uh, Sigma Ray. You can see we got that subtle blue. So now we're just gonna have some fun and mess with this violet. One thing we did discover in these is if you get them, be careful because see this one's already like split uh, and this is brand new. So I found about four of them in the uh, shaders that were open. Cause when you open it and you, if you squeeze a little bit, it'll come up and it'll go out the side and run down your bottle and be real messy. But that is a factory defect. So these are not perfect coming out. So this is uh, one complaint I had. I have it all over my hands because of this. <laughs> we'll do it over the blue, see what that does. Some interesting shading effects here. It's kind of cool. So I'm gonna try this violet on a blue. So I got old school half painted chimera here that we found in the back room and we're just gonna see what this violet does kind of on that blue so 
you can see I just kind of lined the, the outline of that uh, skirt with it and it kind of tones that blue down to where it's darker and it gives a real like, um, it makes the middle look a lot lighter. So you can get some interesting lighting effects using this paint as well. So now we're going to do some weathering effects on a piece of terrain. This is off of the shelf over here, one of our game tables. So we're going to make it look a little mossy. You get too much, you can just wipe it off. And we'll do some darkening down and see how that works. So it's definitely subtle and because it's so thin, it's easy to get out of control with and get a little bit of overage, but luckily it wipes off pretty good. And the cool thing about these is, is they are translucent, so you can weather over stuff you've already got. Like this old tank's got a decal, so I'm going to take the darkest color, which is the Starship Filth. We're just going to go right over top of that. So even if you get heavy, you can still see through. But they are just a translucent very 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 thin wash i think this red could be very neat for doing some um, uh, source lighting some osl effects but i'm not good at source lighting i'm mediocre at everything so he looks like he's got uh he's got the pink eye let's see what it does on the metal You could definitely get some uh, some neat, subtle metallic shading, like anodizing looks. Yeah, anodized, that's the word. Night blue. So we're just gonna play around. We got it opened wide up. But there's all kinds of fun stuff you could do with these shaders. Still a little damp, but that's okay because we kind of want the colors to mesh. So it's kind of giving that kind of greenish blue effect. It's pretty cool. You could also get these effects with other washes that exist on the market, but uh, for ease of use, these things being just ready to go in the airbrush straight off is very, very nice. Quality of the bottles could use a little bit of work. Uh, there were a lot of uh, damaged droppers that we found in our shipment. So I would knock the rating on this down to probably a four out of five stars. Let us know what uh, neat effects you've gotten with your shaders and uh, drop us a line on that because I'd be interested to see other things that have been done with them. And if you can help me improve my technique with it, please let me know because I always like to learn new stuff and I am no expert with this uh, at all. So thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed our little short product review of the new ammo of MIG shaders.